Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the minimum thickness of the one-way slab. In this lecture, we are going to determine the minimum thickness or the depth of the one-way slab. Here I, I write the support conditions for different types of the slabs. For different types of the support conditions, we have different minimum height or the minimum depth or minimum thickness of the one-way slab. For this case, here it is for if phi is equal to 60 grade of steel and for here we have for other than 60, for example for 40 grade or for 75 grade or for other grades of the steel bar. So the first support condition and the minimum thickness of the first type of the slab is the, the simply supported slab, the simply supported. This is the type of the slab which is being supported on four sides, like for example this way. This is the type of the simply supported slab. This is the simply supported slab now. So the minimum thickness of this type of slab is the L by 20. Where the L is the length of the slab. L is the length of the slab and we are going to put this L here and dividing by 12. Dividing it by 20, we get the required depth of the uh, required thickness of the slab, each minimum. This should be the minimum uh, thickness of the slab in this case. For if y equal to 40 ksi or some other grade of steel, we should take the minimum depth is L by 20 into some factor. So factor should be multiplied, and this factor is 0.4 plus. If y dividing it by 100,000. So in case of 40 grade steel, this factor is 0.4 is this one. In case of grade 40, if I put the grade 40 here, plus 40 here, 40,000 here, dividing it by 100,000. So dividing these two values, we get the 0.4. So 0 0.4, 0 0.4, we get the 0.8 value so putting this point 8 value here so this is the factor in case of the grade 40 steel right so this is the factor in case of the grade 40 steel we should we should multiply this factor to find the minimum thickness in case of the one we slave point 8 now coming to the another type of the support condition or another type of the slave we can say is the one in continuous slave one in continuous slab one in continuous it means that this is slab consider that this is the slab so it should be continue and one at one point at one point and the other end it should be fixed like for example if this end is fixed so it should be continue on the other side consider this is the slab uh, looking uh, in the elevation view so the one end of the slab should be fixed while the other is continuous. We call it one in continuous slabs of one with slab. So in this case, the, uh, the minimum depth of the, the minimum thickness of the slab should be equal to the L by 24. L by 24 is the minimum thickness. And in this case, it's also L by 24, but multiplying it by with the factor of 0.8 in case of the grid 40. While in case of the 75, you can also find the factor, this factor should be changed uh, than the grid 40. The third one is the both in continuous slab. Third one is the both in continuous slab in which both ends are continuous, not like the uh, one in continuous in which the slab moves in both the direction. So we, in this case, the minimum depth or the minimum thickness of the slab is L by 28. Putting the values of the L length L here, dividing it by 28, we get the minimum thickness of the one with slab for the both in continuous. Similar for here, for other than grade 60, we can find it by multiplying it with the factor. In case of the grade 40, this factor is 0.8. The last one. We'll, we are left with the last one of slab, and this slab is the cantilever type of slab, the cantilever slab. 
in case of the cantilever slab, the minimum depth of the slab is taken as L by 10. Here also, it is taken as L by 10 with the factor. In the case of the grade 40, we take the factor as 0 0.8. So, this, these are all the, these all are the depth or the minimum thickness of the slabs in case of the grade 60. Grade 60 should be remembered. These all values are corresponding to the grade 60. While these all values are changing according to the grade of steel. For grade 40, it is 0 0.8 should be multiplied with all this value of grade 60. While in case of the grade 75, you should find the factor and then it should be multiplied with the respective values of the grade 60. Hope you understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.